All right, let's look at a five below fidget find today. Five bucks. It's a squish and play sensory mat. So this is seven inches by 14 inches. Um, so it's pretty big. It is filled with all of these great colored Orbeez. They kind of look a little like honeycomb when it's all flat. Um, there's like three shapes. There is a music note. Let's zoom in a little. Triangle. And then there's a little moon up here. Um, nothing too big. Like I would think that if they were going to do this as a finding mat, there would be a lot more in it. But it is pretty. The colors are pretty. Lots of pinks, blues, purples, yellows. Uh, very good um, find. I haven't seen any of these on Amazon yet. Um, Five Below is the only place that I've, I've seen these, so I had picked up a couple. Um, it's, it's squishy. It's fun. I would give it, we'll go seven out of 10. Um, I wouldn't really call this like a, a fidget per se, like wouldn't be something you could bring with you. Um, but it does feel nice and it is very colorful. Uh, so if you have, you know, like a nice little fidget holder container, this would definitely be cool to display some of your fidgets on. So this was my first find. Again, seven out of 10. I don't know, five below. My second find, and I took it out of the box already just because it required batteries, is this uh, inflatable waving guy. He is a little loud though. Um, so let's see if I can lift this up a little. Um, does take a nine volt battery, but he does get a little stuff. If he was quieter, this would be a 10 out of 10 for me, but he's not. So this would be like a four, four out of 10 noise alone um but still i do love the waving guy sorry about the the nails there um what else oh i know and i was looking for one of these it is the banana popper like the pea popper um there we go this one is difficult. This one, a cute, look at the little face on that. Um, and it doesn't go back down like the little pea popper one. And they all have faces. Ooh, you really have to work hard to squeeze that up. Um, I do like that it's different. Um, what was this, two? This was only a dollar. Um, so th this was cute to, to add in the, the collection. Um, you can see all three up with the faces. I thought this was cute. I would give this mm, six out of ten, only because it is quite hard to push them up. Um, but for a dollar, can't go wrong with that. Okay. They also had these sensory balls. They were a six pack. So let's open them up and see what these are all about. I don't know if they're different, um, if they do different things, so we are gonna find out together. Okay. Oh, listen. This one's like crunchy. Okay, easy to squeeze. I like that one. And this one's crunchy too. I do like the colors, they are stretchy. Oh, I like this, it's blue. When you squeeze it, it goes to purple. 
Um, this one feels like it's got slime in it. Uh, very easy to squeeze. I do like the color change. Um, this was actually a good buy. This pack was $5. And you get six of them. And this orange one is another slime ball. Goes from like orange to like a reddish pink or a magenta. Um, and I can see the last two are going to be Orbeez balls. Um, I do you like the colors? You can hear that. One is purple and like a greenish, and the other one is baby pink. Love pink, obsessed with pink, as you can tell. Got my nails done, shirt I'm wearing. I have a lot of pink on my desk. Um, trying to think, like. These crunchy balls feel, oh, I know what they are, because I can see them now, look. I don't know if you can see them. A little bit right there. These are Orbi balls, but they're dry. So they're just not, they're crunchy. Okay, um, you know what, for these, especially since you get six for five, um, I would give these, I would give these a 10 out of 10, in all honesty. They, uh, they're cool. It's a variety pack, so you get two of each ball. Um, the Orbeez, the Slime, and then the Crunchy ones. I like that. I, 10 out of 10 for this. It's, it's, it's a cheap, nice way to add to the collection. Um, another thing is they have this Kamigami. Let's see what this is. I picked, they had a lot of different colors. I got the pink and the gray. Oh, okay. This reminds me of an infinity cube. So you can just keep rotating it. I know there are other ones, I think that you can like turn into shapes, um, but I like this, it's mindless. It's a little like, I don't know, a little hypnotizing, I guess. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10. I like that it's mindless. You don't have to do anything, you just, can sit there and play with it. And you know what, and it's cute. So you could just have this sitting on your desk. Um, and when you need a, a break to kind of just do a mindless activity to uh, rest your mind, there you go. And what else? I did get this mini brands. Um, I got because I've been doing so many brand unboxings. So don't forget to like my video, check out my other videos. Um, so this one I'm going to do separate and do a little mini brand unboxing. I have a bunch of them coming. I have a mini Toy Mart and then the Mini Mart coming. Um, and I think the only other storefront is like another little Mini Mart. Um, so I'm also going to put those together and then do some unboxings and put them away. So for right now, I'm going to put this over in my little handy dandy shopping cart. Uh, so for today, those balls, Kamigami, my Orbeez mat, which is cute. You can have this sitting somewhere when you just need to poke at something. There it is. Um, and then the little dancing guy. So not too bad overall. Uh, oh, and my banana. So 5, 10, 15, $16 I spent. Um, maybe 20 because uh, the Kamigami was $5 as well. Um, it, the cheapest thing was the banana for a for dollar. Um, great little stocking stuffers, though. It's cheap. Why not? Same thing with these balls. You can take these balls and split up into two gift sets if you wanted to. 
Um, so hit that like button and keep watching for my next video.